How you doing? I'm Trevor and uh, I work for Abolish Pest Control and today we're in the city of Newberry Park, California uh, where we encountered a major bee problem. Uh, now the people called and had bees in this chimney right here. Uh, the guy said they were there for about over a year. He had three other companies come out. They tried to spray and seal at the bottom right here and you can see they used uh, orange foam. Now we found that the bees can chew through the foam we recommend that you don't want to use that kind of stuff. Now the proper way to get rid of this type of problem would be to remove the beehive. Uh, you can see this brick, you know, pretty nice, you know, very nice house in a nice neighborhood. It would probably cost thousands to replace if we had to remove it. We already checked from the inside, from the attic, there is absolutely no way to get to it because this fireplace is framed on the outside of the house. Now from the inside drywall, there's absolutely no way to get to it because it's right there on the top of the uh, second story, so the framing of the house doesn't allow you to. So now what we're going to attempt to do now is there's this lid up here. And what we did, there was four screws holding it on, about two inches all the way around. Um, now if our theory is correct, there should be a smokestack in the middle and a big open void all around that. Uh, you know, this thing's mainly for show. The smoke doesn't travel the whole thing. It should just be a little pipe in the middle. Now if we're right, we should be able to open this up right here and hopefully find a beehive. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Alright, let's rock it. Alright, now we're going to remove this cap and uh, see what we got in store for it. You ready? So what we did is we sprayed the bees, they should now be exterminated. Now what we're going to do, like I said again, if we're correct, which I think we are, the hive should be right here. Now remember, the outside is all very expensive brick, so by going in from the inside here, it was very difficult to find, but we saved the homeowner thousands of dollars by doing this, and uh, I'm just praying that it's in there, so let's find out. wood is basically just for framing of the chimney and it's only held in by a couple nails. Alright, well we got the board out and you can see the honey on it. Let's go take a look inside. Oh, and also we carefully removed the smokestack, the inner and the outer. So we got a little bit more room inside there. Here, let me tell you. Oh, damn. When we get oh. started, we can never predict how big any kind of hive can be and when people want to ask us on what kind of price that they're looking at we have to give them a pretty decent margin between the two numbers this is why this stack is just as tall if not taller than me and I stand 6'1 and this Damn. is solid honey like I couldn't get my finger through it to the back this is this is this has been here a good long time that is huge and this is all the fresh new stuff and this is all the old stuff I mean, that is six to seven feet of solid honey. I mean, you can see proof right there. Why we can't, we just can't. Why you never should just exterminate and seal, always get it removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's solid. All right, now you can see old St. Nick here removing the honeycomb. You see one side done. That's what it should look like with no honey in it. That's the side full of honey right there. At the beginning, both of them were filled with honey. And we can see this has been here for maybe about a year, maybe two. And eventually they would have started taking over these voids too. But they just haven't made it that far yet. Alright, we are all finished and the chimney is put back together and this job is done. All perfect, dusted, sealed, all good.